I don't regret not going in there at all. On the way to Dawlish Warren, I stopped off at uh, a pretty little harbour village uh, of Cockwood. Not for its puerile name, but to see if I can take some long exposures of this beautiful harbour as the moon rises over Exeter. Wow, that moon is so bright. It's a full moon. I don't need any long exposures to capture the beauty of that. I even zoom in on it, glistening across the bay. Oh! This railway line is famous for being washed away by the sea nearly every year. I just stood around in the freezing cold for 15 minutes just to get that B-roll of the train going by. And that's as <laughs> close to train spotting as I ever want to get in my life. No offence to Stefan in Norwich, who is a cool dude, very awake, but massive train spotter, like decades long. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, Stefan, in Norwich. Ah, excellent. I've just arranged a meeting with Rob. Uh, you may remember him. He came to visit me in a transit minibus with windows all round. And he also surprised Richard Hewitt at Stonehenge with a knock and a conversation. Guess who called me up at 11 p.m.? <laughs> hi, Tim. <laughs> hi, hi, Tim's uh, fans. How are you? Nice to see you, Tim. Just making sure you're alive, which is good to see. Um, we went into more funny. detail before I pressed record, and you can imagine the sort of detail we went into. Sort of detail that would get me banned off YouTube kind of detail. A lot of detail of that. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> the world's a beautiful place with Tim. Right, right, and so. stop recording and speak freely in three, two... So I'm parked in an off-season car park in Dolish Warren for the night. I don't know if you can hear out the window, but there's a boy racer screeching his tyres doing donuts and skids. Hmm. Seems to have gone quiet now. Might have, might have crashed it. It's a freezing night, but that diesel heater's just sipping away. Hardly drinking the tank at all. Brilliant. No one at this parking spot last night. 
apart from a few boy races doing circuits. When you live it in a small van, you develop your own kind of yoga to move around in it. And uh, what at first seems quite hard, eventually, uh, you just take it in your stride. Brett used to call it Twister. Still got it. An eight foot tunnel. No problem. <laughs> Dawlish. Unfortunately, the coast is blocked by the railway line. Let's see if I can get a nice view. Next stop, Tinmouth. Pause if you're interested. I think I had this before a long time ago. The 10 Estuary, as described by John Keats. Through mossy rocks where mid-exuberant green I roam in pleasant darkness, more unseen than Saturn in his exile from Endymion. Uh, That's Sheldon across the estuary there. And that's something that would entertain uh, the SLR tripod crowd. And depopulation is what's been carried out through covert means through the so-called vaccine program. And that's now coming out and mounting. And then you ask the logical question, how did the, the, the technocracy there's a dude in a BMW Z4 there, just parked in front of me, having a cup of tea in the deck chair, looking at the estuary. Why not? Well, this is a nice little spot by Bishop's Tainton, I think it's called. Except I have no food, except storage. My computer's run out of memory, so I can't produce any more videos, so... <sighs> I'll come back to this place.